So I'm an assistant professor in the division of urogynecology and reconstructive pelvic surgery. Uh, I'm a surgeon scientist. So clinically, while my work is focused on what we call ERPS, now is our new name for urogynecologic care um, <laughs> as a specialty. Um, from a science standpoint, my research focuses on a few different things. Um, one main area that I look at is surgical outcomes in older adults. And I have a niche area within that that looks at perioperative neurocognitive disorders or what happens happens to cognition and memory after surgery. Uh, and then the second piece is uh, like a health equity focus, and particularly in gynecology and urogynecology and medicine, you know, it, it branches out from there. But of course, I look narrow within the, the patient population I take care of, and then broadly as well, because it's very uh, widely applicable. We did a systematic review, so that's uh, a nice fancy way of saying like we did a very thorough review of the literature. Um, and the way that we do that was it was quite robust in which we went in essentially to a number of different search engines and had a, a, what we created was a search strategy to be able to find what are all of the published literature and published articles out there um, that are related to health disparities. So that's what we went in with, with the, okay, we're gonna find all the articles that are related. And then once we find all the articles that meet both our inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria, meaning that they aren't weeded out, then we wanna look at the articles in detail and see, are they actually detecting, understanding, or reducing disparities? And so that's what we did. We found what has largely been previously found, which is that most of the work that's been done has been, you know, focused on detecting if there's disparities and then understanding these disparities. But there hasn't been a whole lot of work done on reducing disparities. And that's where the needle needs to move, right? Like we've been talking about, yes, we know disparities exist. We know there are lots of different types of health disparities, right? It can be related to race or ethnicity or age or gender or uh, ability, right? Like it just, it goes on and on and on. And we know that they exist and we are starting to understand them a little bit better with some of the work that's been done. But what we really need to do as scientists is sort of push that needle forward and working to reduce them. You know, I think they very much inform one another um, in that, I, you know, the work that I do or the work that I read from a research standpoint is, you know, sort of drives uh, the work that I do clinically and that I'm, I'm a big proponent of evidence-based medicine. If there's good evidence there, I like that to sort of integrate that into my practice. Um, but I also feel inspired by my patients and inspired by their stories. And um, it does drive me to do the work that I do through my research, too. just highlighting what we do know. And I think that's important, highlight what we know, but also recognize what we don't know. And then this can help to inform what the interventions should be in order to reduce disparities. I think that we're gonna have to really, um, in terms of next steps, engage with our community partners and do a lot of community-based participatory research um, in order to, to, to start making reductions. And disparities. And I hope that will be something that will be part of the work that I do in the future. Um, I think in terms of like calls to action or uh, like from a clinical standpoint, I, another goal that I personally have is just um, ensuring that the public knows that we are here as urogynecologists and we encourage everybody from lots of various and diverse backgrounds to come and see us um, and because we are, we're happy to care for you and we're happy to take into account um, all of that diversity as we make plans for people. So, so yeah, we're here, we're ready. Just we're growing and growing because the demand is there, and uh, we're 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 here.